G'day, today we've got something new. We haven't done this for a, for a while. We've got an unboxing. Okay, um, we have got a counterflow pressure filler. Counterflow pressure filler. Uh, I actually saw this on, I'll put the link, Mosky Homebrew. Uh, after I saw their video, there are a number of other guys who are reviewing it. It's the Bowl, Bull, Bull I Technologies ITAP. Instructions. That's handy. Oh. No English. There's uh, no English instructions here. Mm. Um, we'll have to uh, do a translate. Mm. So there's um, hose connectors. Uh, I believe this is the shaft main body. Uh, where the, the beef flows through. Is oh it in there? There it is, there's a bit of it. Okay, this is the connector. There are a couple of versions of the ITAP. One is for twist bottles, twist cap. The other oh, is the PET. for... PET bottles, is yeah. it? Yeah, plastic ones. The other is for... Crown seal, which we're, we're using. We're using the old big king brown, so. Right, oh, no. <clears throat> So this is. Uh, Looks almost like a, like, a, like a beer tap. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I'll have to open this. Okay, there's a couple of. Mm, uh, Bear, look, oh, I don't know, red well, lugs. Like yeah, but they look like they must be, they must have some kind of purpose in life. Oh, hang on, maybe. Okay, one of these lugs. Let's refer to the, uh, the diagram. Okay, so when you turn the bottom handle here you can see it it lifts it lifts the bottle up. How does it click in place though? I don't know, we'll find out. <clears throat> and then the idea here is you use the red button to purge the bottle with CO2. You turn the tap on to allow the liquid to start to flow and this what do you call this? Butterfly. Yep. What's it called? Wing nut thing. Yeah. You, and this is adjusts the speed. It's a bit of a flow. Mm. <clears throat> so in the back you've got a CO2 um, inlet. inlet and a drain pipe. And then the main beer line goes through the centre port at the top. So this is treating it? some yeah it does. Should, should we no. put Teflon on it? No. I, I ring there. Okay. It butts. Um, you just don't strip it. Right. Oh, no. So the two bulbs at the back here have got black or red. They got O rings, o -rings on, on them. On. This one was loose in the bag, so this one goes onto this here into the middle, which will probably change, and that screws on here. Yeah. Mm. Oh, no. yep. I think we're getting there. So the guys at Mosky, they're, they're two guys. I'll put the link, as I said, on the on the screen. Uh, both of them got a version of it, and the mounting of of this is uh, were they, they did two different mountings. One of them mounted it in the in their kegerator, straight in their kegerator, and the other guy. Uh, similar to this shelf in the back here, there's just a bit of plywood and they mounted it over on the side 
uh, in the in the plywood. Um, we think we will mount it on a old bottle capper, a different device. We actually saw Dave Heath did he did a review on it because we want to be able to move this around. I've you know got kegs here in the back shed on the beer bar. There's kegs there. Mm. We might want to do some bottling at Simon's place. So we might want to put this on a portable stand and that way we can move around. All right, we do have some a bottles bottle. here. Let's see how, we'll see how they go, yeah, see how they connect. All right, so the bottle, and we, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is the, just mounted this to a bit of fly. So we're going to mount right just like this. Have you need to get the bottle in, so, yeah. so that sort of Oh well you can do it right at the top, or close to the top. Yeah. Right, so we've drilled a hole through there. Through there. Okay. Alright, eh? so we were discussing the beer, the beer line. line. That goes in the back here. If I can see in the back. Okay, so now you can see this uh, up close. So here's the handle. This is the button we purge the CO2. Here's the flow control. That's the bottle lock, whatever. Cassette cradle. One of these is that would be beer. That one CO two, and the other one is the overflow. So when the bottle fills up, it'll overflow and out one of these tubes. So the it's foam, like a drain tube. Foam. Yeah. foam. So this is where it's connected to the shaft here. So there are two. Okay. So this this cap here locks the shaft onto stand and then this here there you go that there is a standard just hold it still so I can see it All right so there's the barb fitting that you get with it so what we're thinking of doing is having a quick connect some kind of uh, this style connector just for portability so that we can then just put a bit of beer line from there straight to the keg. Straight to the keg. Okay as we were putting this together I remembered that I had a line here already with a tap and beer connector that I use for the keg rotor. So this is going to screw on here. Yeah. Okay, so that's there. It's there. And then this line runs off to the keg. Right, oh, here we are, rocking the new merch. What do you think? Let's get the focus going. Right, this one. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, looking pretty cool. Right, oh, you saw the setup. You just walk through. So we've just sanied the bottle, these have been in the fridge with a bit of foil over the top. So the idea with this, put the bottle in, turn the okay, crisis averted. We have two kinds of bottles. One with a short, what do you call it? Lip. Lip top. And one with the deeper lip. You can recall when we were setting the eye tap up, there were two red lugs. 
those two red lugs, we weren't 100% sure they did. exactly what they were for. Hmm. These two red lugs here, let me... Uh, here, there's one here and one on the back. You can take them out and turn them up one way or the other way. And with the lip pointing up, you can fill the bottles with the shorter top. And with the lips pointing down, you can fill the bottle with the longer top. Right, so bottle in, turn the cradle thing, press the red button. We can hear the CO2 coming out of the overflow. I'll turn the dial on the right hand side to stop CO2 coming out the overflow. I'll put CO2 in the bottle just by pressing the red button. So this will be slightly pressurized now. We turn the tap handle on, then slowly release the dial on the side, and the beer shoots out the side and runs down the edge of the bottle. There's no tube like the tap cooler that goes right to the bottom. This runs down the side of the bottle. I'll do a close up in a minute and fills the bottle. You aren't touching anything, there's no mess, you're not forcing a thing up, you haven't got a, a dip tube that's getting in the way. We did find, when the iTap was, uh, tap cooler was a, yeah. a good device, don't get me wrong, um, we did find because you had the tube, you were kind of trying to get the bottles in underneath and it was a bit, a bit messy. Uh, we like things nice and neat and this seems to be working really well. We'll finish this one off then we'll do a bit of a close-up of the next bottle so you can have a look. So here's the close-up. I'll take the bottle, slide it, carousel I think is what I called it last time. You turn the lever to the left. You can open the, open the valve on the side, purge the bottle. Hear that going through. Purge the bottle, tighten the cap or the valve, press the red button to put some pressure in the bottle, turn the tap, open the valve ever so slightly and there's the beer running. You can see the beer running down the outside of the bottle. It's filling up from the bottom. The bit of foam that's in here is actually, and we did have a little bit of sani in here, so that's not all beer foam, it's actually sani foam. Just open the valve a touch more. Don't need to touch the bottle, just let it do its thing. So we're going these relatively slow. We want to try and minimise the amount of foam or CO2 coming out of the beer. Uh, so pretty good, I reckon. It's actually creating minimal head at all with the beer running down. I wouldn't have picked it to do that. Yep, wouldn't have picked it. Wouldn't have picked it. Easy process. Very easy. Righty tidy. Alright, now we're going back to the bottles with the taller lip. lip. So this is where we need to adjust the carousel. Turn it slightly this way. And these red lugs you pull out, you flip them the other way. And you push them back in. There's one on either side. Please turn that back around. And you get the carousel. And uh, when it tightens, there's 
more of a gap here which gives the neck more room and take the bottle this one here we're in tighten her up and you're ready to go again all right well we've uh, just finished our first bottling with the uh, new bowl i tap i tap and what a piece of kit very good very handy this has made it much easier you now pours it in quickly passes it over and with this batch we really tried to make the o2 up give on on the in the bottles as best as we can we've, we've purged and purged and purged and used the once once again the oxygen scavenging caps that you can hunt around and buy uh, we've made sure that the the fill is r almost right to the top right to the neck um we've made sure that the bottles were in the fridge in the fridge so the fridge their bottles are down to temperature the lines are down to temperature take one at a time sunny it one at a time yeah put it in and just go so there was no foam no bubbles, no extra yep it just goes <laughs> thank you for watching cheers cheers subscribe like etc we'll see you next time play the music yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.